Hey there and welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new crock pot dump and go video. But before we hop into all of these delicious recipes, I do wanna mention a couple things first. So all of these recipes today are perfect if you are leaving for the day at work or if you're a super busy person, you could pretty much just dump all of the ingredients into the crock pot in the morning and then come home to a delicious meal. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is there's very little steps to these recipes. I hope you enjoy all of these recipes today and let's get to cooking. We're gonna start out by making one of my favorite crock pot recipes of all time, this beef and broccoli. It has so much flavor. So I have a little bit over a pound of some flat iron steak right here, or you could use flank steak or kind of whatever steak you like in your beef and broccoli. I'm just slicing it against the grain like this so it is nice and tender in the end. Now that I'm through cutting our steak up, I brought it over to the crock pot and I'm going to dump it right in there. On top of the steak, I'm going to add one cup of beef broth along with four cloves of freshly minced cut up garlic. This is going to add a ton of flavor, all of that yummy garlic. Now I'm adding a half a cup of soy sauce followed by a fourth a cup of brown sugar and a fourth a cup of oyster sauce. The oyster sauce will add a ton of flavor. You gotta trust me on this one. I gave this a really good stir and I'm going to cook this on low for about four to five hours or until the meat is nice and tender. And then here it is after that time of cooking, I'm going to take out about a fourth a cup of the liquid in the beef dish right now. And then to that liquid, I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch and whisk that together. This is going to be a cornstarch slurry to thicken this beef and broccoli up. So now that it is nice and smooth and all mixed together, I added that in with my beef. And now I'm adding in about three cups of fresh broccoli. I'm going to give this a good stir, plop the lid on top and cook this on low for an additional 20 to 30 minutes or until the broccoli is nice and soft. So here it is. After that time, the broccoli is perfect and soft. It is ready to serve. This is my bowl of food. I served my beef and broccoli on top with some sesame seeds and some white rice. This is unbelievably good. You really need to try it right now. It is that delicious. That meat is nice and tender and it has extraordinarily amazing flavor. Now we're making some super simple white chicken chili to get this one started. In my crock pot, I have two medium sized chicken breasts in there. On those chicken breasts, I'm adding one drained and rinsed can of black beans along with one can of corn. You're also gonna wanna add in one can of Rotel. Rotel is pretty much just like diced tomatoes with green chilies in it. So now for my cream cheese, I'm adding one block of cream cheese. I did cube this cream cheese into smaller pieces so it melts down a little bit better in the end. Now to give it some flavor, I'm adding three tablespoons of ranch dressing mix along with a teaspoon of cumin, tablespoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of some onion powder. If you do want to make this spicy, go ahead and add some um, cayenne pepper into. The very last thing I'm doing is adding one cup of chicken broth in. This is gonna cook on low for about seven to eight hours. Now it is later in the day and our soup is finished cooking. Our chicken is completely cooked through. So now I'm just shredding the chicken with this whisk and I'm trying to combine the cream cheese. The cream cheese will kind of still be in clumps, but just whisk it all together and then it will be nice and smooth. One thing that I am also adding in is a half of a lime. Of course, that's optional, but we just really love lime in our home. So that's why I added it, but now it is ready to serve. Here is the finished product. This is my soup. I topped mine with some cilantro, lime, tortilla strips, cherry tomatoes, and cheese. This is so, so good. It has a ton of wonderful flavor. I really think you'd like this recipe. 
For a classic, we're making some Mississippi pot roast and potatoes and carrots. To get this one started, I'm just going to be chopping up my veggies into smaller pieces. So now that I am through with that, over to my crock pot, I'm going to add my two and a half pound chuck roast in there. You could add a larger chuck roast, but this is just perfect size for my family. Right on top of that roast, I'm going to add one packet of this Lipton onion soup mix along with one packet of ranch dressing mix. I just added a few tablespoons because I don't have the packet form of the ranch mix. To make this a classic Mississippi pot roast, I'm adding eight pepperoncini peppers on top. This is going to give it some really, really amazing flavor. You just wait and see. Now for the butter, I'm adding about four to five tablespoons of butter on top. Of course, use more or less butter depending on your preference. For the veggies, I'm just dumping the carrots and potatoes on top of that. This recipe truly couldn't get any easier. Now I'm pouring about a fourth a cup of the pepperoncini juice on top. This is going to add some extra great flavor. This cooked on low for about seven to eight hours and here's the finished product. My house was smelling so good. That meat is pull apart tender. The veggies were nice and soft. It was really great. Here is my plate. I served this with one of these Sister Schubert's dinner rolls. These dinner rolls are so simple. You just plop them in the oven for a couple minutes, but this recipe is so, so good. Even my little daughter Brinley loved it. You can't knock this one until you try it. We're making some pork chops and rice. It might not be gorgeous, but it is really delicious. So to my crock pot, I'm spraying it with some avocado oil nonstick spray. Now I'm adding one can of cream of mushroom in. If you don't care for cream of mushroom, you could substitute it for any other type of cream of soup you prefer. Now for the chicken broth, I'm adding two cups of that in. You'll want to add in one cup of water now along with a half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, onion flakes, garlic powder, and two teaspoons of some Italian seasoning. Just whisk all of these ingredients together. It's time to add in the pork chops. I'm using about five medium sized pork chops. If you have a larger group of people you are feeding, go ahead and add more pork chops in and this recipe will still turn out perfect. For the butter, I'm using about four tablespoons of butter that I cut into smaller pieces. I'm placing that on top. This will cook on low for about seven hours. Here we are seven hours later and I'm just going to shred up our pork chops. You'll want to add in your one cup of white rice at this point with your half a cup of water. Give this a really good stir and cook this on high for 45 more minutes or until your rice is nice, fluffy, and cooked. Now that we have our rice cooked up, I gave it a good fluffing and then I added in about one and a half cups of some sharp cheddar cheese, gave it a good stir and then it was ready to serve. Here is my plate of food. This came out so yummy. We really enjoyed it. I served it with some steamed peas on the side. This was just a super simple meal to throw together on a really busy night. And that is a wrap of this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, if you have questions about anything, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. As always, if you are new to my channel, we would really love to have you here. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.